Well, everyone, Justin Felisco checking in again. These Monster Energy Team Challenge teams keep being revealed. And today I'm talking with Derek Kolbaba because, Derek, look, man, I'm excited. These teams are coming out and seeing who's on whose team. So let's get right to it. Your team, you selected Cole Melanson, Eli Vassbinder, and Jordan Spears. Kind of walk me through those picks because some of those guys I was like, huh, all right, Derek, getting a little creative here. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, you know, I think the format with, with the team and the draft – I think it's going to bring a lot of guys that that maybe a lot of fans and and uh, you know a lot of people haven't really heard of yet. Um, for me, I, I you know as every, as everything was breaking down and and you kind of you set up a game plan of who you wanted to pick and and that all blows up in your face. You know the guy right before you picked who you were going to pick and uh, you know I'm pretty dang happy with the team though. We've got obviously Cole. Uh, multiple time NFR qualifier and, and now making a, a mainstay with the PBR. Um, and then my other two picks, Jordan and Eli, both NFR qualifiers, um, kind of going for them rodeo guys apparently is what it, what it ended up being, um, which, which I think is going to bring a lot to the table. And, and I feel like both those two guys, Jordan and, and Eli are, are pretty gritty, gritty bull riders. And, and, uh, also, that you have to come into to fact with this team deal is we're going to be getting on a lot of bulls um, in a short amount of time. And, you know, these guys, they know what it's like to get on five, six, eight head of bulls within four days. And uh, and I think I think that we're going to be, be a pretty tough team to beat. How much fun has it been for you and the guys to see the PBR open the doors, right? As long as these rodeo guys go ahead and get a PBR card, they were eligible for this event. This isn't an Unleash the Beast event. There's no world points. To have the chance to have some of your friends on the rodeo side come over and compete, it's got to be fun and exciting a little bit. Oh, it's it's really exciting. I mean, anytime that you talk about, uh, you know, having a bull riding with with everybody, all the all the associations are, are pushed aside, and you just get to see guys that, that are going to show up and, and ride bulls. I think even on my team, and, and there's quite a few other guys um, on the other teams that yeah, and you're going to see a lot of guys that have made the NFR, a lot of guys that are rodeoing right now that fans and, and some people haven't even heard of, which, you know, I think it opens the door for maybe seeing some guys that might want to turn that leaf and, and uh, start riding in the PBR a little bit, get a feel for it. And, and uh, it'll be interesting to see how the team format all, all plays out. Well, there could be a chance I want to eat my words, but – one name that everyone is familiar with is Sage Kimsey. He's on Jose Vitor Lemmy's team. Lemmy just surprises everyone <laughs> and puts the reigning PRCA champ on his team. To me, this is going to be one of the strongest, if not the team to beat. How surprised were you when you're sitting there and you hear, here comes Jose, and he says, give me Sage Kimsey? Oh, absolutely. I think he had everybody fooled. At first, he had already had a pick, and, and I think it was Luciano. That's who he was going with. And I, he must have just been feeding us full of a – you know, a little BS there because I think everybody was just as surprised when he said Sage Kimsey is his first pick, which, I mean, that's that's a great pick. I don't think he, he went wrong there at all. Um, I'm sure everybody else wanted wanted that pick too, and uh, they're going to they're gonna be tough to beat. Back in 2017, you were part of a Team USA squad that went up to Edmonton as kind of as underdogs, and uh, you guys won that first Global Cup. Your team now, a couple of guys that maybe, like you said, aren't familiar to PBR fans, but do you look at your team as an underdog kind of role for this competition, or do you think you guys are at the top of the pack? Um, I mean, I guess some people might say we're, we're the underdogs just because, like you said, I mean, we've got a few guys that maybe some some people haven't heard of yet or, or haven't seen very much of. But, uh, you know, I think one one great thing about our team is, is everybody's going to show up ready to win. And... Uh, and that doesn't really matter what the other team does. Um, all we got to do is show up and, and ride our bulls. And, and uh, I think we're all going to have that same mindset that uh, we're going to want to win more than anybody else. And, uh, you know, if, if that means that they're going to call us the underdogs and we may not have all the, the same titles as everyone else, well, so be it. But uh, I think at the end of the day, we're going to we're going to show up and show out and uh yeah, it'll be fun to see where, where the cards fall. One thing that uh, Just McBride always tried to instill in this Eagles squad over the years, and I know you're part of those teams as well, 
this belief that it don't matter who's on the team. At the end of the day, you have to believe you're the best bull riding team in the world. Does that mentality you think translate over to now this competition? All these 12 teams, everyone's going to show up thinking they have what it takes to win this thing. Absolutely. I mean, it's, that's one of those great things about the team deal is you have that, that team and that camaraderie to, to kind of pull together and, and feed off of each other. Um, you know, if, if you believe it and, and you feel that those guys are, are the best in the world and you've got the best team going down the road at the time and there isn't a bull that can buck you guys off, um, you know, I think that helps everybody. I know it helps me. It helps me seeing – my teammates go out there and, and ride a, a rank bull or, or ride a really hard ride bull. I mean, it just fires everybody up on the team to show up and, and give it everything they've got. And I know that if, if our team shows up and does that every bull and, and gives it everything that they've got, I don't think there's a bull in Vegas that can buck us off. Now, the PBR is assigned at random a GM and a manager, right, to all these teams. You guys get paired up with Jerome Robinson, who is one of the most knowledgeable and great bull riders we've ever seen in the sport. And Jerome doesn't get a lot of the attention that maybe some of the other legends do, but Jerome's been a big part of the PBR production side for years. He also puts on that event up in Pendleton every year, and you've had a ton of success up there. How pumped are you to have Jerome to kind of be the leader of this team alongside you? Uh, when I got told that Jerome was our GM, that was – I thought that was pretty awesome because you talk about somebody who is as knowledgeable as they come when it comes to the to bull riding and uh, whether it's the mental side of things or, or uh, all the way down to just the technique and, and uh, maybe what you're doing wrong and what you're doing right. Um, I think he, he knows, knows about everything you, a guy could know. And, and uh, I think it's going to be a huge, a huge part of our team and, and just having somebody that, uh, that knows all the ins and outs. When did you first meet him? Do you remember? Uh, shoot, I can't, I can't quite remember. It would probably have been, uh, probably would have been Pendleton. Um, probably my first year going to, going to PBRs. Like I said, he's always put that event on up there in Pendleton. And, and uh, yeah, I don't know. He's, he's, he's always been just a, a really cool character to talk to. And, and, like you say, he's, he's pretty quiet when, you know, he's not going to just come up to you and start telling you what the heck you're doing wrong and all this stuff. But he's, if you go up there and ask him, he's going to tell you everything and, and then some just because he, he loves the sport of bull riding. And, and he, he, I really do think that he takes a, you know, he, he really, it means a lot to him to be able to give back to some of these guys and, and help us out. I remember the first, first few events that I ever went to, um, on the built for tough series when it was, um, you know, he was always kind of critiquing my rides and, and anything that he could do to help me. Um, when I was having some trouble, um, uh, he, he was dang sure there and, and would always give a, you know, a, some, a couple ideas or what he thought might help. And so I think him being the, our general manager is going to be going to be pretty lights out for everybody. You mentioned Jerome, this is willingness to help. There's so many weekends where I'll be sitting there at the arena late at night working on a story and Jerome will be finishing up some work there. And he always will stop by and just ask me, he'll say, Felisco, what'd you think tonight? And we'll start <laughs> talking about the bull riding. And he pays a lot of attention to the details of what guys are doing. He's so knowledgeable. I'm super pumped to see him help lead this team because, again, I think he's one of the most brilliant guys in the sport. And like you said, he's not going to go out of his way and overstep his boundaries with any of the riders, but he is always there to offer the uh, advice to the guys. Looking at the teams, you were there for um, the teams. I know we've only announced some of them so far, but um, so far in your division, we're going to see guys like Sage Kimsey, Chose, yourself, um, Silvano Alves, J.W. Harris. Uh, how tough do you think the division's going to be? Have you seen the full division so far? Uh, I haven't yet. Um, you know, here I, you'd think I would know. I was sitting there right for the draft uh, when everybody was picking, but, heck, it was it was pretty hectic, I guess. And, uh, um you know, I'm sure it's going to be going to be a great competition and, and every team is going to show up and compete. I mean, you can't really you there's damn sure not going to be any layups, I don't think. And, and teams that are just a bunch of slouches. Um, I think all the teams across the board are are, are damn good teams and, and good matches. And, and uh, like I said, for, for our team. The only thing we're going to focus on is, is showing up and, and getting the job done each and every time that gate opens. 
Now, these past few weeks, I've been seeing you drive all the way down to Oklahoma, drive back to Washington, almost a 30-hour drive one way. Um, is it nice to have some time out home to rest and get ready for Vegas? And just how's the family doing with the coronavirus all over the U.S.? You guys staying safe and uh, just, you know, you ready to go for Vegas? Yeah, I mean, it's that, that 30-hour trip down, down to Oklahoma for the last couple of weeks, it, uh, it dangs your wares on a guy, but you know, I mean, that's, that's just kind of part of it. It's if, if we're sitting in an airport or we're sitting in the, in the driver's seat, I mean, that's one of those things that we've signed up for, but, uh, you know, it, it's damn sure nice to be home. <laughs> I know the wife probably wasn't liking me being gone for so long with, uh, just the chores and things around the house, but, uh, no, it's, it's nice to be home and kind of get rejuvenated and, and Vegas is quite a bit closer for us than, than Oklahoma. So that'll be, be a little nicer uh, on the drive anyway. And, um, no, it's, you know, it, it's been one of those, those weird times in, in life. And I don't think we're probably ever going to see or go through what we're experiencing now probably ever again. And, uh, you know, so uh, we're, just, we're just trying to stay safe and, and, uh, and keep going. And, and uh, hopefully soon we'll get back to get back to normal well i know how it is when in my case the girlfriend wants those chores to get done so i'm gonna let you get back to those chores <laughs> and stay on good terms get those things done before you go to vegas but stay safe and good luck out there yes sir thanks justin thanks Derek. <laughs>